breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. See what is happening. See what is going on. Our very own pastor, father, Pastor Enoch Adeboye, under attack over 2023 presidency. Not be smart, you know, see me see trouble. You go see the matter now. What did Pastor Adeboye do for the matter? So I not personally understand them. But I go on, may you reason the matter with me. May you tell me what you think because I know they understand why did they attack him. I they try to understand. I they try truth, truth, uh, truth. I they try to. I they tell you true. I they try to understand why they won't just you know they just they attack him. Okay. So see what in Nigeria they react as the matter called the four for grand. See ah, Pastor Adebo, you do this, you do that. I call they wonder what he do, what he happen. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Breaking news. RCCG pastor Adeboye under attack over 2023 presidency. Nigerians react. The general overseer of the redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor Enoch Adejaye Adeboye, has come under social media attack over his alleged coldness about the forthcoming 2023 presidential election. Late Nigeria recalled that the Reverend Preacher Father has declared earlier that God has God is yet to say anything to him about the forthcoming 2023 presidential election in Nigeria. So this is his submission. This is why they're attacking him. He said to him that God has not said anything about this election. That's what he said. Say God has not said anything to him. Now they attack Kamputu. Now the reason we that know that matter. May we continue. Adebayo, while delivering a sermon on Saturday, January the 7th, during the RCCG monthly Holy Ghost service, tagged wonderful at the Redemption City, Lagos, Ibadan, Expressway Ogun, State said, if God doesn't reveal anything to him about the election, then the congregation should be ready to vote as led by their spirit. He emphasized the need to get their permanent voters card, PVCs, ready to be used to exercise their civic right. To exercise their civic right and vote for the right candidate that they feel led to vote for. He said the February 25th presidential polls, regardless of whether God speaks to him or not, people should be ready. Why is RCCG trending now on Twitter? Obvious observe that RCCG started trending on microblogging platform on Thursday after a citizen alleged that members of the Redeem lost their interest in politics after the vice president, Professor Yemi Osibanjo, who is, the, who is a pastor of the church, lost the, lost the uh, APC presidential primaries, when, which he participated in in the party primaries months ago. The citizen claimed that his, friend who, his friends who are RCCG members have since become cold about the forthcoming election after Osiba and John lost to Tinubu. He, the tweet re reads, Because Osiba and Joe lost APC primaries, my RCCG friends lost interest in politics. They have lost interest completely. Think you, you, you think you want a new Nigeria, but you don't, but you are not ready to do anything by it. You just want to, you just want you guys to get power by all means. That is the only thing you are after. The Twitter user has since generated a lot of reactions on social media and, uh, and citizens are speaking on this regard, on this submission and wondering what next. So this is why, you know, the redeem started trending. This is the reason the redeem started trending. You know, they said because uh, Osibanjo lost that, uh, you know, because Osibanjo lost. Uh, so the redeem members and you know that Pastor Debuena said, OK, uh, I've not heard anything from God about this. If I do, I will let you know. 
And because he said that, they said it's because uh, Osibanjo lost. Uh, that's why, you know, uh, they don't want to, uh, they don't want to participate. He didn't say they should not participate. He never said that. He never said nobody should participate. In fact, he reminded the people to get their PVC and that um, if God gives him direction over this election, he will tell. But if not, he's not ready to, you know, he, he, people should be ready to follow, you know, and be led by their spirit and, you know, go ahead and vote. That was all he said. That was all he said. That's all he said. Okay. However, they said it was because of Yemi Osibanjo did not win the primaries. He he he, he lost to a uh, he lost it to to uh, Tinubu. So redeem members are not interested. I don't think that's very correct. I personally don't think that's very correct. However, this is the insinuation, and this is some of the things that you know uh, is trending now. And why you know they are uh, looking at past and saying, "Oh, uh, you did this." Uh, you guys, can you imagine? Just can you imagine? So we all just need to, you know, be focused and um, know what we're, what, what's going on and what, what you know, what, what we're saying and who we are voting for, okay? We cannot uh, leave things to chance and think that things are suddenly going to fall in place. Every single one of us must be ready, okay, to vote for the candidate we feel, we think has got what it takes, okay, to make Nigeria. He told the people, he said God has not told him anything. But if he does, he will let them know. But everybody should be prepared to vote. That's what he said. Simple. Nothing more. He just said, be prepared to vote. And he said it's because ah, Osiba and Joe did not win. Uh, so it's not a... So because Osiba and Joe did not win, uh, the people that are there... Remember now we have Alaji Atiku Abubaka. We have Peter Obi. Okay? We have a Tinubu. We have Showare. We have a lot of them, you know, 18 of them precisely who wants to be president. And they said it's because, you know, uh, Yemi Osibanjo did not win. I personally don't think so, you know, but again, we we'll wait and see. So Nigerians, please be prepared to vote. No, but I don't believe that he said the people should not vote. He only said God has not told him anything about it. That was all he said, that God has not told him. But that people should get their PVCs and be ready to exercise their civic responsibility and ensure that at the end of the day, you know, they, they vote for the candidate. They feel, you know, it's got what it takes to, you know, to change the course of what is going on today. Every single one of us must become what must become very important in this by for now.